what are transfer of rights? During the first 17 years of your child's life, you're probably managing a lot for them. Money, finances, school, doctor's visits, therapist, caregivers, transportation, housing, and even shopping for groceries. When your child is 17 years old and younger, you automatically have the legal right to make all major decisions for them. But once your child turns 18, the law gives them the right to make these decisions for themselves. Maybe your child won't be ready to manage these things right away when they turn 18. Maybe they never will. There are many options for you to support your child. After you have looked through the options available to you, if you believe that it is in your child's best interest for you or someone else to have legal control of some or all of their decisions, you can ask the court to give you legal guardianship of your child. So what is guardianship? Guardianship of the person is when a court gives the responsible person, which would be the guardian, full or partial decision-making power, the authority, for an adult, the ward, so that the guardian can protect and look after them. Look after them. The court must say that the adult is incapacitated, and this is a legal term to say that your child is not able to manage certain areas of life in order to get to set up guardianship. This is not a term to take to heart. It does not describe everything about your child, only some of their abilities. If your child does need a guardian, the guardianship should uh, be designed to help them build and keep as much independence and, and self-determination as they are able to have. The guardianship will cover only some areas of your child's life clearly defined by the court. It could cover money, medical decisions, housing, voting, and if your child needs permission to get married. So the legal process. These are the basic steps involved in applying for guardianship. Guardianship law is complicated. A lawyer who has experience with guardianship will help you understand the rules and process. This might be a family or a probate lawyer who has worked with other people with disabilities. Before you decide to work with a lawyer, ask, him, ask them how many times they have gone through the guardianship process and get a written quote on how much it will cost you. Your lawyer, lawyer will give you a form for your doctor to fill out, which describes areas where your child needs supervision. This could include things like if they can dress or feed themselves, if they can make decisions about money, and if they're capable of driving. You and your lawyer will take this information to court to file your request. This is called a petition for guardianship. After your lawyer files your petition with the court, the judge will assign an attorney and ad litem. The ad litem is a lawyer whose job is to represent your child in the guardianship process and advocate for their wishes. Part of their job is to investigate whether the guardianship is needed or if other supports and services would work for your child. They will talk to your child about guardianship law, why you are asking for guardianship, and what your child wants. They might also review the medical report and talk to your child's school, caregivers, and other family members. Finally, um, they will write the report with their opinion on if your child needs or wants a guardian. Once your child's attorney um, files that report with the court, the judge will decide whether to issue guardianship. If the judge grants guardianship, they will consider your child's wishes on who the guardian should be. After the judge decides on guardianship, the court will give the guardian a letter of guardianship, which can be used with schools, banks, health insurance, doctors, or anywhere else it may be needed. The transfer of rights. I encourage you to do your own research for an attorney that you trust and respect. You may use whomever you would like to represent you. You can search online and then search for a specific field, such as guardianship, in our area. You can do this online at texasbar.com.